fellow artists. Today we are going to be adding some strings to the end of our magic carpet that we're making. So to begin, we are going to be using a hole punch. Now, when we go into our hole punch, it has kind of like a little mouth right here. Our paper is gonna go in the part that is open. We're not gonna try to wedge it into this part that would be really hard to get into. It's gonna slide right in here. So I'm gonna slide my paper in that part and then I'm going to squeeze the handle of my hole punch and it'll make a hole. Now I wanna do that at least three times across my paper, but I don't wanna do too many. I did more than three, but I didn't do too many. I did one, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna do that to the other side of my paper. All right, I did four more. One, two, three, four. So now we are going to add the string to the end of our paper. What I want you to do is you're going to take your string and you're going to fold it in half. Now it looks like a little guy. He has a head and he has two legs. One, two. Now he's going to dive into the hole and he's looking around for food, but he can't find any food. And so he bites his legs and he swallows them. And now that is stuck on my paper. I don't wanna keep pulling really hard because then it would rip my paper. I'm gonna show you that again. So I'm gonna make a little octopus guy and then he's going to dive down into the ocean or my paper. He's looking for food. I didn't pull him all the way through. He's just diving his head in. Now, he sees his legs, he bites them, and then he swallows them. You're going to keep doing that to each hole on your paper. Pushing his head through, making him grab both his legs, and then pulling his legs. One more time, fold it in half, put his head through the hole, and then bite the legs and pull the legs. Very good. You're gonna do that to both sides of your paper. boys and girls now that both ends of our magic carpet have strings I think we're done for the day bye boys and girls <laughs>